Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Lois Presgrove, who is the president for the Homemakers Association here in Nelson County. And today, you're having salad day, right? Salad days. Free salad for anybody that wants to come in from 11 to 1. And there's salads everywhere. The tables are full. We've had to turn some of them sideways. And there's all kinds of salads. So, like, when I think of a salad, I think, like, green salad. But there's, like, there are green salads, but there's also all kinds of salads. Uh, we have chicken salad, pea salad, um, pretzel, uh, strawberry pretzel salad. We've got one made with blueberries and pretzels. We've got another one made with pineapple and pretzels. Um, there's corn salad. I think there's some pimento cheese. Okay. Uh, there's some dessert salads in there. So there's lots and lots of salads to pick from. Absolutely. There's a variety. And you know they're going to be good because the homemakers themselves have made them, right? That's right. The homemakers are all, these are all tried and true recipes from the homemakers. And today we had the homemakers from all the different groups because there are five different homemakers groups. In there are five clubs in Nelson County and each club has representatives here uh, and they brought salads. Uh, some of the older ones that couldn't bring salads brought crackers or cookies. Um, you know, they, they do what we can. Absolutely. Uh, but there's a lot, and lo uh, a lot of salads out there. And um, each club also furnishes workers. Okay. And we help anybody that has trouble carrying their plate to the table, ones that have trouble walking, ones that are on canes. We walk around the table with them and help them. Our women with children, our people with children, mm -hmm. uh, will help the children, you know, so that mom can fill her plate too. Absolutely. And uh, we'll go get drinks, extra drinks for people if they need them. And then we will take our turn and then we'll go get our plate and sit down. And I've been telling everybody that the pea salad's no good because it's my favorite and I want to make sure there's <laughs> some and I'm working the first shift. What did you make? I made a multi-layer salad. Okay. And it's got all kinds of greens and it's lettuce and uh, spring mix, spinach. Carrots, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, uh, strawberries, eggs, more. everything. <laughs> Seven layers. Uh, <laughs> or I more. say multi-layer because yeah. I don't remember how many layers I put in them or how many I'm going to get around to making. So it's multi-layer multi salad. There you go. And this is a free event for the public. So the public was invited and can come and eat. And this kind of a give back by the, from the homemakers. That's correct. We want to thank the community for helping us with projects that we have, for buying our cookbooks, for uh, just supporting us in any way they can. I mean, they brought in bottle caps when we needed them. They bring in uh, little miniature cosmetics that we put in Ziploc bags for the children's backpacks for children that need a little extra hygiene help. Um, but people are bringing those things in and then we bag them up, take them out. And so they help, what they help us do helps us help the community. I'm here now with Ama Fury and Kitty Greenwell, who are two of the ladies that made salads here for the Nelson County Homemakers Salad Days. And first, what did you make and bring? I made the chicken salad. Okay. And I got three cans of the canned chicken at, at Sam's. And I put in cranberries, grapes, pecans, made my home, own homemade dressing. Okay. So well, everything, just about everything about it's homemade. How'd you make the dressing? Well, that is sugar and vinegar and eggs. Okay. And you cook that till it gets thick very slowly or it'll lump up on you. And then you add a big hunk of Miracle Whip to it. Okay. <laughs> and it's really good for your banana croquettes. Okay. Also, that's very good. So I, I didn't make banana croquettes today. I should have, but anyway, it went into my chicken salad. Chicken salad, mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay, and how about you? What did you make? I made the the little stuffed tomatoes with colonnade dressing. You stuff them in, and that's what I made today. But usually I make like a strawberry salad or pretzel salad. That's what my my family likes at home. They like the pretzel salad, but. Um, but we we've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So how many how long have you been doing this at Salad Days? I don't know. I've been in homemakers since 1957. Wow. And uh, we've been doing this probably the last 10 years, the soup day and the salad day. Yeah. Okay. So you've been doing this for 61 years, right? Yes. 
fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Now, what group, what homemaker group are you involved? Texas Creek Junior. Okay. Have you been with that one the whole time? Yes. Well, no. We started out in Boston, Kentucky. We started one down there, and then I moved to Cox's Creek, and then we formed one at Cox's Creek. And what have you seen kind of evolve over these years that you've been involved with the homemakers? Oh, we had such good lessons at the beginning. We, we learned to do everything for our house, household, how to, to decorate it, how to, how to do your yard work. It was just, you know, how you, how you sew, how you knit, how you crochet, how you, how you just take care of how you raise your family. And do you still know all those tips? Do you pass them on to other people? I pass them to my children. <laughs> I share my two girls. Anybody that'll listen. <laughs> and anybody that'll listen. Yes, exactly. we did. We shared them with a lot of people. We really have. And it was an older group at Boston when I started. And um, they, they knew how to do everything. And then when I moved to Cox's Creek, it was, they all visited and wanted me to join their club. And the older ones, they knew how to do everything. And they would share it. And they would share it with you. Yeah. yeah. So she's a, she's good she, at stuff. She can do just about anything. <laughs> has she taught you stuff? I'm sure she has. I'm sure she has. <laughs> make those boxes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I made these boxes, and and you're welcome to take one home with you. And they pull one of these boxes over here. Uh, Toss about th these boxes. Th they are made. They are made out of cards that you receive, like get well cards or Easter cards or, and I and I even made some ornaments which are out there at the table showing what we do and I made those ornaments that you see out of Christmas cards and oh, I've, well. I've taught two lessons on doing that. So you're crafty. I'm crafty. I am crafty. And then it sounds like there's something in here. What's in there your is. box? I, after oh. Easter I, I hit Walmart after Easter and got some reduced candy but okay. it's not sure free if for anybody and I put that in there and until they're gone anybody's welcome to take a little box home with them because in my spare time, I've made these, uh -huh. and I probably bought, brought 50-something with me today. Really? Yeah. And I'll, and if you notice the door prizes out there, uh -huh. well, there's three boxes of door prizes. It's, it shows some of what our group does. So I've got a crocheted uh, dishcloth, a hot mat, Christmas crocheted Christmas ornaments, and some of the ornaments made out of cards. Wow. And if people weren't able to be here today, can they still get some of these things from you? Can they contact the homemakers maybe and find well, out? they can contact the homemakers and, and we give lessons on them. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, which group are you part of? Which I lot? am a part of her group, Cox's okay. Creek Junior. Okay. And fortunately, we've kind of grown to Cox's Creek Senior, but there is a Cox's Creek Senior. We laugh about that because we're <laughs> all kind of seniors now. Okay, so there's five, there's five uh, Nelson County homemaker group uh, clubs in the county, I, I believe. So right, it's okay. It's changing because the women nowadays are so busy raising their children, working, getting the kids here, there, and yonder, that you know it's unfortunately going down. But we're still available to give lessons and whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. When we started out. Our ba we were having babies, <laughs> mm -hmm. and now our kids are grown in college or married. And now, you know, that's changed in the household. Yes, in the that's household. Great. Well, and are you, have you enjoyed your time here with the homemakers? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, when you were having the, having the babies, it was a lot of uh, nutrition pamphlets out and how to care for them and how to take care of your children and make them healthy and teach them. It was just, it's been, it's been an educational Absolutely. program. It really has. No, university. Yes, as I said, we're here with the salad day, and what salad, we heard what you brought, but what did you eat in the salads? What were some of your favorites? I ate some fruit, I ate okay. some fruit, I ate some slaw, the slaw was delicious, and it's fixed with the vinegar and the, the salad oil, and um, I, I like that, it was good. And now I'm eating a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's salad day, you know, I was thinking like it'd be a lot of green salads, but there's like you had chicken salad and I yes. saw some other fruit salads. So it's all kinds of salads. All right? kinds of salad. As long as you call it a salad, we bring it. And it's, <laughs> we got a, a good variety. We even had a corn salad out there, which I had never, I don't guess, had corn salad before, but it was good. It was it good? Yeah. So, what was, so that might be the most unique thing you had, right? That's probably the most unique thing I had, but they were all good. I didn't run across... Because I'm a good eater. I like to eat. What would you say was your favorite salad that you had of them? Besides your own, I know your own was fantastic. 
Blueberry probably is one of my favorites. Okay. Yeah, the blueberry salad's awfully good. Yeah. And that's a superfood, blueberries. That's good for you too, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for talking with me. And congratulations on your time here with the homemakers. You're going to stick with it? I was homemaker of the year, I don't know, 1960 something. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, we've had several. Yeah. That's fantastic. And we're still good. after new homemakers. Yes. So you still can recruit, You can right? be a mailbox member. Okay. You know, you can pay. What does that mean? That means you get the information, and if there's a lesson that you want to come to, but you don't have to come to all the meetings and things for the okay. ma for the mailbox, which is good for older people who have trouble driving, walking, and all like that. Now, how often does your club meet? Once a month. Once a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you meet here at the extension office, or do you meet closer? Can, but most of the time we go to someone's house or to a restaurant. Okay. We started out. We all met in homes. And usually Miss Verna Richardson, she came to every meeting of each club, and um, we enjoyed that. Was but she the extension agent at the time? Okay. Yeah. And then uh, we started uh, maybe going different places. Now we go a whole lot to restaurants. We go to BJ some. We're going to, next month I think we're going to Kurtz's. Okay. <laughs> so that's the time that we met. We have our meeting. And and, and then eat. <laughs> last time we met, we all brought assorted toys and things, and we fixed bags. We gathered around a big long table at Ellen Clayton's house, and we fixed bags. and And these bags were given to Flagey Hospital to give out to the children that come, the ER kids, emergency room kids, which That's is great. a great thing. Yeah. It's a great thing. That's great. We always have a project, you know, that we work on and do Absolutely. during the year. That's great. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us. We appreciate it. I'm here now with Marcia, Martha Shields, and we're here for Salad Day with the Nelson County Homemakers. And you are a homemaker? Yes, I've been here with the Cox's Creek Senior Club, and this is my 39th year to be with this club. Fantastic. And I brought a uh, pretzel salad that has pineapple in, on top. And I made it last year for the salad day, and it went over good. So I made it again this year, and it's in our cat new cookbook uh, as pretzel salad. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're in the cookbook, too, huh? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. So it was last year the first year that you made that pretzel salad? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So tell us, what's in your pretzel salad? It has a, a pretzel in the crust part that goes on the bottom with just butter and sugar. And then it has cream cheese and sugar and um, Cool Whip in the middle layer. Okay. And the top layer is made with the, uh, where I thicken the, the sauce on the, the crushed pineapple and put that on top. And it's very good. Okay, so you got the saltiness of the pretzel, and then you have the sweetness with the pineapple, huh? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Now, had you tried it before you brought it here, or was it just like, I'm going to try this and bring it the first time? Uh, no, I, I had a friend who had given me some mm -hmm. already made up, and I liked it so well, I asked for the recipe, and so then I had made it two times before I made it last year for this a salad day and I made it uh, one time in between and today. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Mm -hmm. And so you bought the pretzel salad. Mm -hmm. So last year, I know you haven't eaten yet this year, but this has been going on for about 10 years, right, with the salads. I believe this is about the 10th year for salad day. What kind of are some of the most unique salads that you've gotten to experience over the years that you've tried? Can you recall any particular different one that you've tried before that you're like, wow, this is something different? <laughs> I sound I, like I think you can. <laughs> I, I like uh, most all the salads, and I it's too there's too many to choose from, but I choose a little sample of each one rather than a whole lot of any one. <laughs> That's right. A little sport going on there. Because there's lots of salads. Lots of people brought them. Tons of people, right? So you've been involved with the homemakers for 39 years. Uh, tell us some of the highlights. That, what's been some of the highlights of the homemakers, of your time with homemakers during that period? 
Well, we have done uh, lots of cooking things, and I remember one time making uh, the lesson for our uh, club was a uh, barbecued steak that I fixed for our club that, that day is the most unusual thing to fix in the food line. But then I always like all the craft projects and looking at some of these on the table back here, and mm -hmm. I, I remind me of uh, at least 20 years ago, we made that, what they call chicken scratch embroidery and there is a pillow here. I mean, one one show of a star over there that is of that. And then the uh, things that they made from the Christmas cards here. Mm -hmm. I, I have done that many years ago. Okay. <laughs> and so I, it's just... You like the I, crafts too, right? I, I, I love the crafts. In fact, I have a rocking chair that I put the bottom in 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 uh, 1957 I, I, a little sewing rocker that I put the seat in I bought the, the rocker and put the seat in oh, wow. that long ago yeah. and did you learn some of the technique of how to do that through the homemakers yes uh-huh oh, yeah wow. uh-huh and I have a what we call a lap table that my sister made uh, earlier than that and it it ro rolls in front of you and you can work while you're sitting because she was disabled mm -hmm. and uh, so after she passed away well they gave me her table and I still have that oh, wow. mm -hmm. that's great so you've learned a lot over these 39 years haven't you <laughs> <laughs> well really it's it's I've worked with 4-H and and uh, the homemakers since 1953, so that's wow. a few f few years longer. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's, great. that's uh -huh. great. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank uh -huh. you.